Hey, these are those replacement GoPro lenses. We're gonna see if it fits on that. If you can't tell by the packaging by now, it's from Banggood. So, That is what they look like. It looks just like the lens on my Yi. Well, I guess it might be exactly the same as the one for the Yi. But it's uh, 170 degree. And this is only uh, 2.8, I believe. So. This is, if it works, is going to be awesome on the TCR that I just got done building. So, let's try to get this put into that. Okay, we can loosen this collar. Hopefully this thing adjusts out before it bottoms out. Loosen that ring. That's pretty, pretty basic. I'm just loosen this little re retainer ring there, and then unscrewing the lens, and then that's how cheap of a lens that one was. And here's the replacement GoPro one. So. Sorry, I guess I can show you what I'm doing. I'm just screwing that ring back on there. And turn it into the camera. And then turn my video feed back on. So we can adjust it. Come on, you can do it. Oh no. I don't know if it's going to work with this cheap little camera. Almost starts to come into view and then it bottoms out. See if I can get any kind of focus on it at all with it all the way bottomed out. Oof. That's a no. Let's see what the bottom of the lens looks like. I'm going to try to take some of this off and you can see how far inset that lens itself is. Yeah, it's dangerous. I'm gonna try to take some of this off. Okay, so after a lot of messing around, this is the GoPro lens that I got in the mail from Banggood. You can see how far it recessed that lens is in there. Quite a ways, and this is the lens. This is the Yixing 700 TVL switchable PAL NTSC camera that I had on my TCR before. I put that really generic thing on there in the Fox ear case, and you can see on this one how the lens is all the way out on the end. That one on that generic CMOS camera was even further out. It was like glued on the outside edge of that assembly there, the, the, that piece of glass was. So I had to take some of that off, and that's what it looks like took almost all of it off to a point of where it was getting severely scary but it still does not work in that CMOS camera 
but it does work in here. You gotta turn it all the way in, almost to where it bottoms so out, just before it'll work. It gets kind of sketchy at one point. You keep going and going and going. I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. And all of a sudden, look at that, it works. That's flyable. Right. Right there. So all we gotta do is lock it down and I can use it on there now. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. I can use it on that. But this is a lot of messing around when you could just spend a couple more bucks and buy a better camera, HS1177, and then just screw that lens right in. <laughs> so, I was just hoping I was going to be able to just screw it right in there, but not so much so. So, have a great day. Like and subscribe.